In not too distant future, humans will walk on the surface of Mars. And this could happen quite soon. Perhaps within the next decade. SpaceX is betting on it and they're developing a spaceship to get us there. The spaceship and the lander that will take first humans to Mars being developed by SpaceX is called Big Falcon Spaceship for lack of more imaginative name. However, SpaceX isn't the only one thinking of manned mission to Mars. NASA is also developing a set of technologies that will take humans to Mars in not too distant future. The NASA spacecraft currently under development that will take the humans to Mars, the deep space transport, is technological jump. In many ways, it paves the way for long-term man and manned exploration of the solar system. Deep space transport, unlike SpaceX Big Falcon spaceship, will utilize the latest space propulsion technology based on solar electric and chemical ion plasma engine. The technology is still under development, the specifics of the new propulsion drive are still work in progress, but technology is quite similar to the Juno probe that was sent to Jupiter recently. However, deep space transport propulsion will be significantly more powerful, powered by at least 100 kilowatt hour solar electric collector and powerful Hall effect ion thrusters, generating enough power for spacecraft to reach Mars in relatively short space of time. As proportion technology for deep space transport is still in development phase, we can only speculate how quickly deep space transport will need to reach Mars and what sort of solar electric proportion it will utilize. However, I can confirm Vasimir or DS drive won't be utilized on this deep space transport, primarily due to power issues. Variable specific impulse magnetoplasma rocket or Vasimir can deliver required power necessary for the long-term space travel. In principle, it is a nice concept. In reality, Vasimir would only work when powered by a nuclear engine or perhaps fusion engine that could deliver required heat and power for a long-term space journey. Boeing, who is closely working with NASA on deep space transport technology, released some visuals of the proposed spacecraft which have been part of now defunct Deep Space Gateway. The proposed vessel is somewhat large with massive solar array which powers the spacecraft and provides onboard power for all the systems, life support and all important propulsion. However, Lockheed Martin is also working on deep space transport concepts of its own, or Lockheed Martin Base Camp. Lockheed Martin is also developing a whole new set of propulsion technologies that are for now pure fantasy. Lockheed Martin Compact Fusion Drive technology that is being developed for future Mars Base Camp. Spacecraft literally has some serious technological implications. Lockheed Martin's concept Mars Base Camp is a very large spacecraft which would take up to six astronauts to Mars. Powered by solar electric propulsion, the spacecraft could take manned spacecraft to Mars within 90 days, much faster if Lockheed Martin's compact fusion drive comes to fruition. Such drive could power future manned spacecraft on long voyages across the solar system. In essence, deep space transport technology, apart from being very revolutionary, it also enables manned exploration of the solar system. However, if Lockheed Martin compact fusion comes to nothing, we still have SEP or solar electric propulsion. The solar electric propulsion for manned spaceflight is still under development. However, with the new next few years, NASA plans to demonstrate actual drive, which must undergo extensive testing. Solar electric propulsion uses hole thrusters with advanced magnetic shielding instead of rocket engine with conventional chemical propellant. Large solar cell array converts the collected sunlight energy to electrical power. That energy is fed into exceptionally fuel efficient thrusters that provide gentle but non-stop thrust throughout the mission. The thruster traps electrons into a magnetic field and uses them to ionize the onboard propellant, in this case the inert gas xenon into an exhaust plume of plasma that accelerates the spacecraft forward. Several hole thrusters can be combined to increase the power of solar electric spacecraft. Such a system can be used to accelerate xenon ions to more than 100,000 km per hour. 
Several years ago, NASA researchers successfully tested a new 12.5 kWh hole thruster that employs magnetic shielding, enabling to operate continuously for years, a capacity important to deep space exploration missions. Later this decade, NASA will demonstrate a solar electric propulsion system in flight, launching a spacecraft to validate the technology and hardware for the high energy orbital transfer mission. The timetable for deep space transport, as set by NASA's planned manned mission to Mars, envisions the first space flight sometimes in 2029, when deep space transport will undergo extensive testing with a manned crew. Stationed in cis lunar orbit for up to 400 days, the crew will test the spacecraft to ensure all systems work and new technology works as designed. Therefore, NASA's first ma manned mission to Mars could be scheduled 2033 at the earliest. Not knowing much about Big Falcon spaceship's chemical drive, it is hard to guess how efficient Big, Fa Big Falcon spaceship is when compared to what NASA is developing. However, the ben benefits of NASA's research will enable future manned missions beyond Earth for everyone, including SpaceX. Question if SpaceX BFS can participate in Deep Space Transport program is highly unlikely. However, it is quite likely SpaceX will demonstrate BFS capability long before Deep Space Transport will be ready, when it sends its first wood with Martian colonies, sometimes in 2020s.